Welcome back to the Nerdiverse, I'm Danny. I'm Chang. And here we are, more ReZero, it's episode 18, From Zero. That's weird, ReZero, From Zero. But uh, <laughs> I really am praying, by the way, please, can that not mean that we have to start again? I mean, like, we looked like we were going to get a reset at the end of the last episode, didn't we? So... Yeah, but I'm I'm worried that when they say for me when they say from zero, does that mean we're starting from the Apple guy again at the very beginning? Maybe, God, maybe. If it if they do that, <laughs> I, I'm calling it a day. Like, what the hell? To be fair, I like, think he needs it at this point because he is what, in literally the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> yep, he he's just messed up way too much at this point. <laughs> he's he needs to just delete his save file and start the game from the beginning. <laughs> True. Well. Maybe we should just flop. Let's, let's get it. Let's get into it and want to see how it's going to go. I need to see how this is going to go. Indeed, indeed. But before that, if you would like to get four weeks ahead or check out full uncut reactions, please check out our Patreon in the link below. But yeah, all right, let's do, do it. it. Let's go. Three, two, one. one. Let's go. Let's go. So oh yeah, this oh is how boy. we ended up. No puck appeared. Yeah, is puck going to kill? Him, though, as well, though, because technically... Maybe. Wait. Is Puck even going to be able to beat this guy? Um... I'm guessing not. Jesus oh, my God. Jesus. Oh. Is okay, he... Puck is very powerful. Is he going to transform into that massive form? Yeah, yeah. here it is. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> He's insane. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to have a reunion. He's just completely been obliterated. <laughs> Three sins. What? Remember, he promised that he would uh, not use magic, wouldn't he? Wait, is Puck just going to kill it? Looks like it. You killed him. <laughs> What? Destroy the world. Emilia wa boku ga sonzai suru riyu no zenbu da. Honto ni dou shiyou mo nai na no kimi. What the hell? Kiki oboe no aru warai koe da. Shinu hodo ni ikun da otoko no koe. Shiga. Wait, what? Ore da. Is he going to end up being that man or something? <laughs> now that would be a fucked up twist <laughs> well think about it it'll probably become crazy at some point right because of wait wait a minute right we're back where are we okay we're here <laughs> at least it's not from the first episode <laughs> and at least Rem's back now so it's not your concern of her just being completely erased God, he really looks like shit, doesn't he? Is Subaru going to end up being that weirdo? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Maybe. Because there's a reason why I ask it. Because he said, I'll see you again to Puck. I'm like, see you again? How will he see him again? And then she said, you are tr slothful. But he was slothful. <laughs> Ah, I think it's him. Maybe. Maybe. I won't say anything. He's going to end up being that creep. <laughs> That'd be some transformation. He seems so cheery. I don't know why. Hmm. Is he putting on a front, though? 
と一緒に逃げよう。どこまでも。Oh. He's gone with the option so you, you, you said <laughs> last, uh, last week. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. He's just completely given up, hasn't he? Yeah, he's calling it a day then, isn't he? Yeah, I mean. I think he's just completely run out of options. He doesn't know what to do anymore. Everything he's tried has just failed horribly and blown up in his face. Yeah, but the problem is, though, if Amelia dies, he's going to die anyway because Puck's going to destroy the world. So every time Amelia dies, the world will be killed. So what's. Exactly. <laughs> Even if he doesn't do anything, like, it still seems to be screwed. Yeah, he needs to find a way of Amelia not dying because Puck will just kill the world. Sure. No, she's not going to do it, is she? She already like fought of her entire life following this route. But yeah, okay, well that confirms it. Indeed. <laughs> Jesus, she's put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> but she still said no, there you go. even after thinking about all of this. Because he loves another, that's why. God, she's literally just lived that entire life in her head, pretty much. I mean, I know they say most girls plan out their life, man, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> she, she has planned out every ounce. But why isn't she going to do it? So what, what, yeah, what is the reason? Is it because she knows that he likes Amelia or something, or? Here we go. Because the Subaru that she loves is the hero who saved her. Yeah, but all he can see is the way she dies. Yeah. He's given up at the moment. All he wants to do is run away. And I think that's why she doesn't want to go with him because that's not the Subaru that she fell in love with. I do think there's something about that though. He needs to learn how to fight. He does, he does. Keep using all his lives to figure out how to fight. in the facts she's gonna make him see see the way now this is the way Yeah, 
Still think this is like one of the best speeches in the series. Rem just has like complete hundred percent faith and belief in him. Even when he's given up on himself. Uh, I wonder what he's. I don't know what he's gonna do. I feel like he's gonna try again, but I don't know what he's gonna have to do. But that's the thing, though. He's admitting his For weakness me, now. I would train. Yeah, he knows it. He's finally realizing, though, all the sort of shortcomings he's had, like all the issues. That, you know, we've yeah. been getting frustrated with over the past few episodes. Oh man, now he's reliving his life that he actually had. Mm. That's the thing as well, like, throughout the episodes you kind of question, like, why he is the way he is, like... In his previous life, before he got isekai he was just like a shut-in with like no social skills or social life. So it kind of explains why he is the way he is. Why he's like so immature. You probably need to either a hug or a smack around the face now. <laughs> to snap him out of it. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Yeah, I'd smack him around the face. I think he's smack needed this, though, because he's been bottling all of this up for, like, all this time, and he's, like, finally letting it all out. I think he's finally going to be able to come to terms with, like, everything he's been through. And yet he still wants Amelia. What's your problem, bro? <laughs> this is the episode that always cements Rem as the best girl. Well, I hope he ends up going out, going for Rem in the future, <laughs> not Amelia, because like, I would feel like it's damn harsh if he completely shuts this out. Yeah, no matter how much he seems to hate himself right now, she's just telling him all the things that she loves about him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a good point. Best lines in the series. <laughs> One of the best speeches in the series. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this entire episode was that speech. True. Crazy that she's able to summon birds as well when she needs <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of the ogre's talk no jutsu.
So come on, Subaru, book your ideas up. Pull yourself together, dust yourself off, and let's go. Indeed. Now, he's got to hope that this playthrough saves, by the way, because at the moment he's probably hit a good <laughs> moment here. It's like, right, okay. Indeed. He's just saved. Oh, Rem is just so good. <laughs> Subaru doesn't even know what day of the week it is right now. He's like, what the hell is going on? He's finally hearing the stuff that he needs to hear, though. Yeah. <sighs> this is one of the best bits. I can't wait to... You know what you should do there? Remind her of something. Go, remember that time when you wanted to kill me there, Rem? That didn't happen in this timeline, though, did it? No, but the desire to kill him did. Because <laughs> of the spies. Yes, yes, save, hit save, save, <laughs> save. Maybe he's missing the save points. He doesn't know where they are. That's what it is. He's like, right. And he's figure out where they are. Oh, that's why from zero. There we go. The prologue is finally over. Now ReZero starts. <laughs> It's a shame that he can't be open and honest about what's happening to him, though, isn't it? I That's know. the hard bit as well. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But he does have someone to share the burden with now, who's like 100% on his side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look! Wow, bro! Rip. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> so that is why Rem is the best. Even if her feelings aren't reciprocated, she will still do everything. <sighs> Subaru is going down as the worst MC of all time at this rate. <laughs> like, I'm putting him at the bottom of my list. Nah, this is this is like a turning point. This is, but yeah, it, it, it's still shitty how he rejects her. But at least he's upfront with his feelings and doesn't lead I, her on. I just, I know, but I just wish. Yeah, he, he didn't need to say it directly after what she just said, though. Like, I feel like it's like saying, "Yeah, screw." I know, you. but I guess if he didn't, though, it'd be taking advantage. Yeah, but literally about 10 minutes ago, he was on about living with her and running away. Like, what? Yeah, but that was the him that had just given up on everything, wasn't it? That was like... <sighs> ah, Ram, you're too good for this world. 
Too good for this idiot. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Even the Aaron Yeager was a better MC in the end. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know what a hero is, Subaru, that's a hero. What the fuck is it? Right, here we go. There we have it then. The prologue of ReZero is over. So, what did you think of the episode? Yeah, wow. Good, but hell, f uh, massively frustrating. <laughs> this like, this was one of my favourite like episodes originally. Like, the speech is so fucking good and it is a turning point in the series. So, I'm excited on the direction it's going to go now and how you're going to find it. But I do understand what, you, what you're getting at. Look, th this describes it perfectly, right? Here we go. Comment, right? On Crunchyroll. This describes exactly how I'm feeling right now. Here we go, right? <laughs> Rem gives inspirational and emotional speech to Subaru and tells him uh, she loves him. Me. That was so touching and beautiful. This, this anime is amazing. That's how I'm feeling right now at that moment, yeah? Subaru. I love Amelia. Me. Intensively closes uh, laptop and goes for a smoke. I don't smoke, but I am going <laughs> to smash my laptop up. <laughs> like, seriously, what is he doing, bro? Like, come on! I get it. Wow. I, I, I get it. But at the same time, like, you know, he doesn't want to lead her on. Like, he's up front with her about his feelings. Like, he does truly love Amelia. So it would be wrong of him to take advantage of Rem's feelings and just lead her on. So I guess True. him being up front with it. Is like a kindness, I guess, in a way. Yeah. But oh, yeah, it, it it's fucked up, and it does piss people off um, that he did like you know choose Amelia and say it like the, that. But I think the that's the th reason behind it. The only way I back him up is to be fair, she doesn't know this, but he does mm. that he was killed brutally by by her twice. <laughs> Um, I think so, it's over that, that though. To be fair, like <laughs> true. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what his obsession with Amelia is, though. If I'm honest, as well, I'm trying to like. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I guess you can't control who who you fall in love with, can you? Like it happens. I hope he gets rejected to hell from <laughs> Amelia. I hope he does. I hope she turns around and says, ah, oh, that's great and all, but um, I love whoever that other guy that he had a fight with. What was his name? The knight? What was his name? Oh, his um, name? my mind's gone blank. Yeah, I can't remember the guy's the name. Julius. Julius, yeah. I hope she turns around and says, Julius is the one for me. <laughs> like, yeah, eat that one, Subaru. Uh, oh, just, yeah. But anyway. no, the, the, this is a turning point in the series and it's going to be a lot less frustrating going forward because I feel like we finally, Subaru's always been at his like lowest point and I feel like at this point it's him growing now and you know, as you said, as you've been asking for, you know, training, getting stronger, you know, being more useful, being smarter, like this is the point where, you know, he starts growing yeah. as a character, so... Yeah, it's kind of like the prologue is over in a way, and now we I, get yeah, and like... I, I agree with you. He is like it looks like he's turned the point. And he is going to become a hero, but um, uh, I will always remember this Subaru. Let's start a family, Rem, and run away and and all that. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's have loads of children. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, I love Amelia. Yeah, what? but that was the thing, though, wasn't <laughs> like, it? Like what? that was the broken Subaru. He was just lying to himself, like. Everything he was saying there, like, he didn't mean because he was just completely broken. So, it was all a lie, like, and I think that's why Rem didn't go along with it because, you know, that isn't the real Subaru. That isn't the Subaru that she's in love with. Like, 
he had, he had just completely given up and he's just going he he just wanted to go with her because you know he just didn't care anymore <laughs> sorry some of these comments are brutal <laughs> <laughs> Go on, give us a few of them. <laughs> what are they saying? There's two, there's two here, right? I won't go in anymore because I feel like I've got, I'll, I'll swallow my own time afterwards. But like, there's two here that I like. I hate myself. I love you. I love Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> and then the and then this other one, dearest Subaru, go fuck yourself. You don't deserve Amelia. You don't deserve Rem. You're trash. I have never in my life hated an MC so much. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's that bad, is it? <laughs> Mate, there are. I've never... I've got to admit, though. I've got to admit, right? In terms of MCs, there's probably only one MC that the moment in anime, in my entire time watching anime, that's probably annoyed me more at this moment. So this is a snapshot. This doesn't mean that yeah. it might change my opinion there. So Arigin is the only one that's more annoying out of Butchigiri that I'm watching at the moment. He is such a freaking simp crybaby that needs to grow up. Um, whereas, and this guy is not far behind that though. Like, soup. I'm, and I, I know this is at his lowest ever point. I'm hoping, and then he yeah. is going to be on the path of coming back. I can and I can see it happening. I can see him being on this path, and we're yeah. we're on the way. But yeah. <laughs> Like, honestly, right now, I want to punch Subaru. No, I, I think that's fair. But I do think this series is a sort of deep dive into yes. his character oh and his psychology. And as you said, you know, this is the worst sort of like yeah. side of him. And, you know, hopefully throughout the next few episodes and the next season, we're going to see him grow as a person. And you're going to see that character development. So uh, I won't go too much into it for spoiler reasons, but no, uh, I'll, I'll be interested to see what your thoughts are on his yeah, character I, I, by the end I, I of season I think he will two. have big development. I can just see it. It's yeah. just, um, I can, I, I can totally understand why everybody hates him at this yeah, point. Yeah. Like without because... hindsight, like I completely get it because yeah, I think it was intended to be like that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it was. Because it keeps you watching, though, doesn't it? Because you go, well, it keeps you doing one of two things. You either mm. watch it or you go, you know what, now nah, screw this guy. That's the frustrating thing, though, because I'm sure a lot of people did quit. And I feel like at this point onwards is when the show actually gets, like, really fucking good. So yeah. it's a shame that not many people, not as many people, like, stuck it out as they should have. But no, I'm, I'm excited to see. Maybe it's because they spent too long. Maybe they did spend too long in the writing making... Subaru really annoying maybe maybe that's what it was people just people have got really short attention spans though man in terms of like they haven't got long before they go you know what screw you and then they just call it a day with people because um, indeed indeed yeah. but I'm excited so let us all know in the comments what you thought I'm sure there's lots to die digest there and you'll have to let me know I know some people are probably, probably going to come at me now anyway for what I've said <laughs> but like because they have don't forget you have future knowledge I don't yeah I know nothing yeah, definitely. About like, what <laughs> I, I, I definitely right understand now. where you're coming from. And yeah, hindsight does affect your perception of all of this. But no, I think what you've said is pretty fair. But yeah, it's like, it's, it's like the whole um, it's like the whole Sasuke thing, though, isn't it? Really quickly, like the whole Sasuke thing is the same thing. People will probably like who watch Naruto gr going up now will go, "Oh, Sasuke's an absolute <laughs> douche. Like, I hate him." And then there's me going, "No, Sasuke's a legend." Like. Don't ever diss my Sasuke, like and exactly, just, yeah, exactly, it's, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. To... Like you know, it's the same with like say characters like Itachi as well. Like you know, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody hated him to begin with, but now he's like one of the most loved characters. Indeed. So yeah, I am excited for us to continue the series and see how your opinions might change. For yes, for all we know, maybe you will hate him to the end, <laughs> but that'll be interesting <laughs> as well. So, will I die on that hill? We'll <laughs> soon find out. Um, thanks everybody. See you again for the next one. Cool, cheers, guys. Bye.